I thought it might be a good idea just to see if I could make a, a video of uh, where we are so far in the uh, fuselage building process. First thing uh, you'll notice is I set up a square with some clamps here to uh, make sure that F1 is square forward and backward and uh, that whole it was it was off a little bit about a sixteenth of an inch so I thought well I'll uh, I'll square it up which which is what you should do and uh, that should hold everything in place as you build uh, even though the lettering's upside down you can see that I'm building the Veloc for the Veloc uh, engine and uh, this is the top uh, shorter spar down below it says uh, bottom or right, so it's on the right side. Let's go around here to uh, the left side, and that spar is top or left, and we can't see it. Well, let's, maybe you can see it. Let's see, let's look at, the, see if we can see the bottom one. Um, can you see that? It says a uh, veloc, uh, bottom or right, so that is that is uh, correct. Uh, what this does is uh, just give you uh, one and a half degrees down thrust and one and a half degrees right thrust, which wasn't in the previous models. But um, you know, for the sake of uh, trying to create the ultimate flying airplane, uh, needed to be done. I'm sort of reluctant to do it, but. Uh, uh, I think it's going to look great. Uh, you probably won't even, because the uh, the cowl is curved, I don't think you'll even be able to notice that there's down thrust or right thrust unless you're really looking real hard. Uh, these are the hard points uh, that locate between F3 uh, and F4. Uh, they will receive the uh, cam lock uh, fasteners just a little bit later. Over here, uh, I've got the uh, stub wing ribs SW3, they are not glued, they are just there so um, just for alignment purposes, just to make everything, make sure everything is just right as we go. Um, here is the um, battery boxes and you can see where the servos are going to mount for the tail, uh, the rudder and the uh, elevator. And then on the way back, uh, just a number of of uh, formers and to the rear um, F15 uh, and F16 you can see the um, the T-nut there that's going to receive the bolt that holds the um, tail wheel on. The system works real well. Uh, this is the uh, pocket where the, uh, 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 the uh, stabilizer spars will insert into. That is also proven to work just fine. So, uh, so there we are. Here's kind of the uh, view from the rear, looking toward uh, the nose, and let's just go up here. And, and this is just made for you, so <laughs> didn't put any extra effort into it. Uh, I mean, well, I, I am, but there it is. Let's just say I didn't have it professionally done. Is what I was trying to say. So there you have it so far. Obviously there are more stringers or lingerons to be put on, but um, let me show you something else. If I can grab a, uh, this is where the, uh, the uh, fuel and smoke tanks will go in there. They're gonna be secured with um, silicon glue. Uh, it works a lot better than you think it would. But they're gonna they're gonna be just fine, and uh, that's that's pretty much our story so far.